Hello everybody, my name is Alex Schiller and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be building a video kit. And what do I mean by a video kit? I mean what you would need to do basic cinematography and um, YouTube videos and all sorts of different things, TikTok, stuff like that, for $500. Now, we've been doing something on the channel for PC parts and we've been doing different budgets for 500, 750, 1,000, 1,500. And I figured we could do the same thing but for video gear. And so today we're gonna to be talking about a $500 kit to build around your phone as your main camera. Because with $500, you're gonna be spending all of that on the camera body and maybe not even getting a lens if you're deciding to go that route or a camcorder. And really, if you think about the things that we're gonna talk about on this list, they will make your cell phone camera look exponentially better than what you would do with just the camera looking at you without any lighting or audio or anything surrounding it. So let's get started with this video. The first thing that we're gonna talk about in this video is how you're mounting your cell phone and how you're able to carry the camera around, how you're able to just kind of keep it in place for your YouTube setups or for TikToks or whatever you're planning on doing with your cell phone camera. Um, the first thing that you're gonna need is this Joby Griptite Pro smartphone mount. Um, again, I've built this entire thing based on MSRP alone, no taxes, stuff like that. And I've also built it off of stuff I've used before, as well as brands that I trust. If you guys have any different suggestions, feel free to put it in the comment section or on our Discord below. Um, so we're doing this Joby Gorilla Arm, uh, or excuse me, uh, this Grip Type Pro smartphone mount. I've been using this uh, to adapt my phone to my tripods and to all sorts of other things if I'm doing like TikToks or Snapchat videos or something like that. Um, forever, it has that tripod thread mount so that you can throw it on any sort of tripod mounting mechanism, whether it be a Gorilla Pod or whether it be an actual pair of three sticks or monopod or anything like that selfie stick whatever you got this will adapt your phone so you can put it on tripods and then obviously the next two things that we have are tripods the first thing that i would recommend if you're going to be like vlogging or anything like that is the joby gorilla pod mobile mini flexible stand um this is essentially your casey neistat style uh joby gorilla pod just for your phone. Um, it's not gonna be super duper stable, but it'll be perfect to get it just a little bit further from your face if you don't have like that wide angle lens that a lot of front facing cameras have nowadays. Um, this allows you to take like selfies and um, vertical video too, if you wanna hold it kinda at an angle or just out in front of you for vlogging, that kind of stuff. If you're on the go, I would highly recommend this tripod uh, just to get you off the ground. Uh, not super great of a review, and that's probably because it's not super duper stable. Um, but again, like I said, if you're just using it to give you that little extra lift, that's all you're going to need. <sighs> the next thing that I want to talk about is the Silk. The next thing that I want to talk about is the Slick 504 QF. Um, it's a fantastic tripod system. I used it in school um, while I was in community college and while I was in university. And it was phenomenal. This tripod system is great. It gets a lot of the things done for you if you want to do like cell phone photography. It has that angle that you can get vertical and landscape shots um, on your cell phone as well as just being a really stable, really well-constructed camera um, tripod system. And again, with that, like I said, with that little mount adapter that you can use for your phone, this will be a really stable shot for anything that you want to do in like a studio type setting, kind of like I'm doing right now for videos just like this or anything that you plan on doing in the future. So this is a really good on the sticks, not moving, very good static shot tripod for you. It's a wee bit expensive, but getting that extra quality, that aluminum instead of the plastic. I used to have a plastic tripod uh, when I first started out making videos and I was recording one of my brother's soccer games and they kicked the soccer ball out of bounds and it came and it hit my tripod and it broke a leg completely off. So I will never ever take anything that isn't aluminum or carbon fiber construction. So this being aluminum is gonna be solid for you for your first tripod. The next thing that we're gonna be talking about is lighting. Now, a lot of you are saying that, well, if I just use my cell phone camera, I'm not gonna be getting that good quality of a video. I'm not gonna be getting like that in-depth color. Like, what if I got a red camera? What if I got a Sony? What if I got a Canon with all the good color science? These things shoot 4K. This camera shoots video raw. Like, cell phone cameras are really, really good for base beginning starting video. I'm not saying that you should take this and go shoot a wedding. I, you could. 
You could with a big enough SD card, you could do that. But these are gonna be phenomenal for TikToks, for YouTube videos, for any social media type of content, online video. This is it. Like you can do anything with this as long as you're properly lighting yourself. You have good audio, you have a stable shot, and that's where lighting comes in. Having a good setup of lighting, this ring light will be perfect. I'm being lit by a ring light right now. You can't even tell, but it looks professional. It gives you a little bit of depth. It gives you that nice cut off of my face and gives you that little bit of depth and shadow. And then I have two kicker lights back here keeping me separated from my background. That is how I make this dinky little camcorder that I'm using as a webcam to keep me more professional looking. It's not the camera that's doing all of the work. It's the actual lights in front of it. So the Smith & Victor LED ring light is 100% something that I love. I love Smith & Victor. They've been doing um, a crazy amount of things for me. Uh, most of the lighting equipment that I have is Smith & Victor. Uh, a lot of people would say Aperture. Again, like I said, this is based off what I've used, what I trust. So if you have something that you'd prefer to use because other professionals say so, go for it. Uh, one of the big selling points on this kit I believe is going to be here with how they allow you to change the color temperature and the brightness the power brightness of the LED panel that is going to be huge if you're outside you don't need super big lighting but something to just kind of separate you from your background keeping that knob so that you can change the color temperature to match other lights that you're going to buy stuff like that and these are huge little upgrades that are going to change how you light yourself even if you upgrade your camera in the future you can keep all of the gear that I'm talking about today to move up and be better in the future and even more professional I think these lights have exponential more value than just to light your cell phone and then like I was talking about with the lights behind me having a separation light having either a kick light or a hair light or whatever you want to have it just allows for a little bit more of a professional look obviously right now I have a little bit of shadow on my chest and a little bit of shadow on these uh, monitors and those are things that I can work out later, but having this professional looking setup with a three point lighting setup like I have here, a two point lighting setup to separate you from the background are huge, um, big plays for content creation. In general, I think this little 10 inch LED ring is kind of just the step down from the one we were talking about previous. Um, it actually might be the same one that I have here. It's, it's actually the same one that I have now that I'm looking at it because if I look at this light, I mean, that is exactly the, I didn't even know this was Smith & Victor. I thought my ring light was like Insignia or something like that, but it's actually Smith & Victor. Neat. I'm learning something about myself today, folks. Um, but having that ability to add brightness and change the color temperature is huge. Again, to match the color temperature that you're working with with the other light. Um, but to separate yourself from the background is really the primary point for this light. Next is the most important and also the final subject that we're talking about today, which is audio. It's crucial that you have good audio. And if you don't have good audio, people are going to notice that way more than if you have a little bit of a shadow on your chest or you have a little bit of shadow in the background with lighting and stuff like that. You can fuck up the video and people will still probably watch if they can hear you clearly. So having good audio is huge. So let's get into it. First thing first, this is my workhorse. This is the Zoom H1N. I have been using this thing for at least three years now as my main audio recorder, and it is fantastic. I'm not using it for this mic right now. I'm actually using a audio interface because I'm connected to my computer. But the Zoom H1N is phenomenal. It's given me professional grade audio. The only downside that I see with the Zoom H1N, for one, is the fact that it only has a three and a half millimeter jack line in so you won't be able to use professional audio interfaces like XLR with this recorder but it is fantastic it can record in all the major formats mp3 wave all sorts of different stuff like that and it will be perfect for your audio and it just makes it more professional it's separate from anything that you would get off of your cell phone camera and so this is the recorder that I would have connected to your new microphone to make your audio more professional, more separate, more crisp and clean. Another tried and true in my kit for any DSLR shooting that I do, but in this case for your, again, cell phone video, is the Rode Video Micro. It's phenomenal, as I've said before. A perfect little camera, or a perfect little audio um, device to separate yourself, give yourself a little bit more directional on, on audio versus the omnidirectional mic 
on your cell phone. So giving you that beautiful little um, directional mic to focus more on your voice than any of the outside noise that you've got going on around you. Having that windscreen so you can take it outside. Um, and it, again, if you're going to become a vlogger and you're going to upgrade to a DSLR or a mirrorless camera later, you've obviously got that mount so that you can mount it to the camera. But you can also mount it separately with a little tripod screw at the bottom. Um, and like I said, the pickup pattern is, I believe, polar... Um, Let's see, it's cardioid, yeah, so it's gonna be just focusing on what's in front of it, so putting your mouth in front of it is gonna be huge. Like I said, perfect little audio device for starting out. It's gonna separate your audio and be much clearer than what you're gonna get out of your phone. Next, I'm just gonna stay here for now because this can kind of be jumbled up. I don't have any specific um, one way or the other. You have to use this gear, per se. Um, I just pick these because they were some of the cheapest in the category to kind of put you over the edge. Um, but I do think you need a boom mic stand because you're not going to be able to have somebody hold the mic for you while you're making your videos. You're not going to be able to have like a stand or anything for the microphone if you don't have like a hot shoe mount on your phone. So I recommend getting a boom stand. Uh, this just allows you to keep your mic just above you. So again, it's directionally towards you. It's not capturing any of that background noise. Uh, you can control where it's at, keep it in shot, keep it out of shot, just so you don't have to fuck with it while you are working on your video. Um, this thread mount here is just to change the three eighths um, inch mount to a quarter inch mount, uh, which is normal for most tripod things, which would be what the Rode Video Micro would actually have on the bottom of it if you're not using the hot shoe. And then the small rig multifunction crab clamp is literally just to clamp it to that boom stand so that you can put the H1N recorder on there so you don't have to buy a bigger cable or have it sitting on the floor or something like that. Just all rigged up on one little arm so you can move it in and out of shot or whatever you want to do in any direction you need so that you can have your audio as crisp and clean as possible. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got something out of it. I hope you give it a like if you like this video. Subscribe if you wanna see more of what we're doing on this channel. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a $750, $1,000, and $1,500 build for video kits, for digital media, and other things like cinematography as we get higher. And if you have any of the questions about like what we talked about, how to set up lighting setups and stuff like that, Go ahead and answer me in the comments down below. I'm always down there. Or maybe one better and join our Discord community where we have a bunch of people just like myself who are willing to answer questions and give you advice on starting out video or doing live streaming or anything like that. We are here for you. So join that Discord community down below. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Alex Schiller, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.